day one, we um, basically introduced Andre and Ben to the um, engineer to slide garage this morning. Did a bit of a walk around, showed him where the tools were and what we had to get stuck into. So Andre spent the morning sort of just looking at what we needed to do and piecing out what we needed and doing a bit of a shopping list for the things that I didn't have. Um, so then it was my chance to sort of look over the car and do those little bits and pieces that I needed to do. Um, yeah, first job was just to mount the boost control solenoid. So I wanted Andre to be here so I knew where that needed to be in the system. I wasn't sure where to really pick up uh, the, the signal from or the pressure from out of the, out of the turbo. So worked that out, drilled a hole in there, welded on the dash three fitting and, um, and made up a little mount, mounted the, the solenoid and plumbed it up. And that was job one for today. Uh, next job on the list was the, um, the cam sync that, that I've sort of developed and, and machined up. So it sort of required the, um, well, the rocker cover needed to come off. So pulled that off. Um, pulled the cam sink out and Andre just had to um, had to sort of rewire it just to make it a little bit neater and, and make sure that no oil passed out through the hole. Um, also needed to be shielded properly just, just in case there was um, any interference or, or whatever through the, through the sensor. Um, yeah, so did that, put it all back on, all sweet, some Loctite on the bolts so they don't fall out. Fingers crossed they don't fall out. Um, and yeah, connected it all back up and she's good to go. Um, yeah, I jumped underneath the car and just made sure that the, um, the drain plugs were all tight before I filled it with fluids. That's the first thing you gotta check so you don't tip it in one end and it drops out the other end. Um, yeah, so jumped under, tightened everything up, made sure it was all sweet under there. Um, filled the engine with um, fluid, engine oil. So um, yeah, none leaked out, which was good. Um, moved on to the gearbox, filled that up, and then through to the diff, filled that up as well. Um, after that, I had to put the exhaust back on. So tightened all that up, and yeah, it worked a treat. Also drilled a... Um, a hole in the firewall uh, for the, the mill spec connector to, to sit through. So yeah, it's all these little things that take time, but um, you got to spend time to do them right. And, um, and yeah, I think we probably achieved what we wanted to in day one. And um, it sort of set us up for a productive week, hopefully. So we touched down last night in Melbourne. It was a late night pretty jet lagged after that huge four hour trek across the Tasman from Auckland. Got settled in and had a look around the engineered to slide garage and um, I must admit we're pretty blown away. It's, it's everything we'd expected it to be. Um, the, the drift ute is just as cool as all of the pictures everyone's already seen on Nigel's blog. So this morning we had a bit of a sleep in, get over that jet lag and got stuck in into the garage. Uh, pretty much first priority for us today was to have a look at what we've got to work with and get a plan in place for how everything's going to work. If you don't have a plan, there's no way you're going to get the right result. So spent probably two thirds of today just planning out how the loom's going to lie, uh, what connections are going to go where, and what sensors we need to connect to the engine um, and every other part of the loom. So now we've got that, I've actually started making some of the loom. I started this afternoon uh, making up some of the power connections. So that's the main power feed from the battery through to the starter motor, through to the race pack smart wire power distribution unit, and also started making up some of the loom for the front headlights and indicators. I think today we got quite a lot achieved and I'm really happy with our progress. The most important thing is we have got that solid plan in place now and we can hit the rest of the week running. So I'm really looking forward to some more solid progress in the next day or two.